Merry Christmas. It's time for 12 days of Christmas cards and a couple more. I think there's 13 or 14 now and I'm adding four more this year. First is this wonderful looking little Christmas tree. It's an ink and wash. So I show you how to do the pen and ink with the dip pen and all that. But if you're maybe a little bit busy this year and you've got a lot going on, I give you a printable PDF so you can just paint it however you like and you can work on your dip pen uh, skills some other time. So this is going to be a great year. There's going to be two of the ink and wash with the printables and two others that are very, very quick. So just some fun for Christmas. Let's paint. I'm painting on Strathmore watercolor cards and I'm using a Hunt drawing nib number 99 and um, the Curry Talkie ink. And the reason for the ink is it is a um, waterproof ink. So I draw this out, it takes about 20 minutes in real life, and then I let it dry for two days. Technically, it should be okay to paint on within a day, but I live in a humid climate, so better two days. And I wanted you to see the side shots of this because you dip, use it's a dip pen, obviously, and you dip it in and you wipe it on the, the paper and you scribble a little bit and you make sure that you have the right amount of ink before you go in there. Luckily, it's a Christmas card, so if you mess up, it doesn't matter. It's just going to look like splat more splatter paint and all sorts of exciting stuff going on. So have fun with it, but the easiest way is I have my um, piece of paper, a uh, little scratch sheet, and I have, here's, I'm speeding up a little bit, so, and remember, I have a PDF, and you can just print this out. It prints beautifully. I'm always giving my kids drawings and printing them out on cardstock because that way they can paint the same thing as I'm painting, and it makes it a whole lot more fun, so you know, for a Christmas card, I think it's really easy and really fun. So I'm just, the drawing nib is really nice. It's very flexible. It's very tiny and it does need to be white. That was the other thing is scratch sheet to get everything right. And every, say two or three dips, you want to wipe it. And I'm using like a fancy paper towel that has um, no lint on it or a whole lot less lint that I got from um, Paper and Ink Arts, I think was where I bought this. Um, but you could use anything that you have that doesn't have much lint because the lint is going to clog it up and make it a whole lot harder to work with. So the main thing to remember here is you want to work from the top left down if you're right handed because it will smear. It's not waterproof until it's completely dried, and it's definitely not smearproof until then. So, you know, just work with it on that. And see, it's lots of tiny, tiny strokes, and you see how many little scratch areas I've doing. So I'm saving you about 20 minutes with the PDF, and um, that you can print out, and it does a beautiful job. Okay, so when uh, the really neat part about a dip pen is it adjusts a whole lot more to pressure than any other pen that you're going to use. So if you press down on it, you're going to get a wide stroke and more ink, lots more ink, so definitely scratch paper. And if you have a very light touch, it's going to be just hairline, barely there, the most delicate lines, especially with the tiny nib like this. And this is a very flexible nib, which means that you can do great big wide strokes or tiny little delicate ones, and it can all happen in the same stroke. So, and it scribbles. The main thing, if you're scribbling and just drawing or cross hatching and you're just going to add it, then the main thing that you need to realize is 
that the angle that you should hold the pen at because it really it's going to depend on your hand and what angle this is the angle that works for me and you are going to vary it up and down a little bit but if you don't hold it at the right angle it's gonna blob and you know blobbing while we can live with it and it's just fine and it can be worked into a casual drawing is not our favorite part of the drawing so just make sure you get the angle right and that's what really differs between this and a fountain pen is it's much more flexible you can do a lot more with it but it will blob more if you hold it at a weird angle so if you're trying to it's actually particularly difficult to do something like this where it's taped down for the camera angles because normally you move your paper around you know there's only you have a limited range of motion with your elbow and your hand but you can move your paper and you can approach lines with whatever angle you want but you know with this it's taped down so you can see it and it's not normally how I would do I would definitely normally move the paper around a lot a lot more than even with the watercolor painting so darker lines heavier strokes I'm going back in I did all the very delicate stuff and now I'm going back in and a little bit heavier so here's the picture of what you'll get and I've started I'm basically just coloring this is this is fun I've let it dry for two days and I'm using a um, Isby Sable number eight and just my regular watercolor paints if you want you could get all fancy and use some gold metallic ones or something like that I'm mostly using pyrrole red is it pyrrole or pyrrole and um, Nicolazzo yellow and a little bit of the Viridian you know for some dark depths later on but this isn't a we're not having everything flow together I'm just casually painting in Viridian I wanted to use a pre-mixed green and I didn't want um, too bright a one I wanted a little bit duller than a phthalo green So tiny little lines. This reminds me of those beautiful spade Christmas plates. Just gorgeous. Really fun. I seriously could paint a whole series of, or paint, do the ink and wash of a whole series of Christmas trees so happily. They're so much fun. You can do ones in the woods, ones, you know, in your living room. Draw your own Christmas tree every year and do it as a card. I like that idea. Do it as the next year's card. That would be a lot of fun, wouldn't it? Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget the free PDF on my website, paintingwatercolor.com. So just go to that, print it out, paint whatever colors you want. I can't wait to see what everyone does. And that should be a really, really easy Christmas card. And there's going to be one more with the PDF and two cards besides that. So three more uh, Christmas cards this year. And don't forget about the older ones. Um, I think they're about 14 by now, 13 or 14. Um, I started with 12 days of Christmas and it kind of, it's too much fun to do. So I keep doing more of them. And I hope you have fun and some of them inspire you to paint some wonderful creations of your own. Merry Christmas. See you next week.